Well, we begin with the latest from the Kenya National Examination Council headquarters where the Cabinet Secretary for Education, Professor Jacob Kaimeni, has just released the 2014 KCP examination results. Catherine Omanto now joins us with a short brief of what happened. The number of candidates with an aggregate of 251 marks and above was 436,814, representing 49.61% of the total candidates who took the examination. Well, in 2013, the number of candidates with 251 marks and above was 417,483, representing 49.71 percent. So it's just point something percent, just a few points. What this implies, ladies and gentlemen, is that in despite the increase in the candidates, as I mentioned earlier on, of 5 percent, the, the 2014 KCP examination candidates, candidates' performance has remained comparative, uh, comparable to that of last year. So during that the year 2014 examination candidates, uh, the candidates ex attained aggregate scores as follows. I'll not read all of them, just for you to appreciate, really. What those who attained between 401 to 450 were 5,584. And that was a very small percentage, that is 0.64 percent. Those who attained marks of 351 to 400, again a very small percentage, not big, 6.32 percent. Those who attained between 301 and 350 marks of a, a 15, 15 Those who attained 251 to 300, 26.45 percent. And this is a key number now, this one, which I mentioned earlier on. So the majority of our children attained 201 to 250. That number was 28.2 zero two percent if you look at the between 201 and those who attend between 201 and 300 we are talking about 54 percent which is not bad really it's a good figure but the rest 151 to 200 16.5 percent 101 to 150 marks 5.59 percent, then 51 to 100, 0 0.69 percent. There are those who got less than 50, and that number, fortunately, is very small. Is 0 0.01 percent. So at this juncture, I wish to dispel the notion that neck deducts marks from candidates in private schools. It does not happen. Please. <laughs> it doesn't happen. Don't be cheated by anybody. Eh? I think we are men and men and women of in integrity. In neck. And the entire education start. Let me I'll address the issue of examination irregularities. Well, there are some. Of course there were. During the year 2014 examination, 1,702 out of 880,486 candidates who sat for the examination, representing 0.19% of the total number of candidates who sat for the exam, were involved in one form of irregularity or another. 